what's happening everybody i hope we're doing well i hope we're having a nice morning evening whatever time it is wherever it is you are in the world so probably a lot of you guys have heard the audio recording from my so-called friend mr mark boyd he's just released on his uh, instagram youtube whoever else he sent it to so i thought i better come on here and address it to you obviously it's not the best timing it's half five in the evening i'm competing in world's strongest man tomorrow the biggest competition in the world so i'll try and keep it brief try and keep it short and cover as much as i can so first of all i want to say why and where the conversation took place so the conversation took place around april in 2021 and it happened because mark and don tried to drag me out to world's strongest or sorry world's ultimate strongman in Dubai. Unfortunately, this competition was on the same day as Glasgow Giants Live. Um, and at no point um, did I think that my friends were record recording the private conversation. Um, and this conversation, by the way, this it wasn't just a, a minute conversation, it was about 30 minutes. And now Mark has clipped a certain piece, posted it online and you know, you, you've all heard it, you've all heard it. So I need to point out a few things. So first of all, yes, I, I wasn't a retainer and so were several other athletes and they still are. That's that's the system of Giants Live, that's what they do. Um, they do that mainly to protect their brand, their athletes, and also to retain the great athletes that they have. There's like absolutely nothing corrupt about that at all. You know, I have nothing to apologise about about that. Um, so we have competed at the Giants live shows to qualify for the World's Strongest Man. Those qualifying shows, i.e. Uh, Giants live, determine our seedings at World's Strongest Man. So, it's, I mean, it's not rocket science. Um, the, the, the seedings determine the groups in which we're there um, and the year in question that I was talking about with Mark, I only competed at Britain's Strongest Man and came third. Unfortunately, I didn't get a very good seeding at World's Strongest Man. I was a little bit annoyed at that, but that was on me. And just to prove a point, last year I won Europe's Strongest Man and the World Tour Finals and then Surprise, surprise, I get great seedings at World's Strongest Man. So that kind of proves that the system does work that's in place. In hindsight, I shouldn't have really worded it the way I did to Mark and Don, but I did. You know, I did this because I didn't want to go to their show. I didn't want to go to Roos. Um, I also had two other conversations before this recording took place. Um, and by this point, by this point, when I had the third conversation, I felt a lot of pressure. I felt that I had to tell Mark what he wanted to hear. So, you know, it's not a very nice place to be in. Also, Giants Live promote the Stoltman brand as they did the Beast brand. Now that works both ways. You know, I love that they can promote our brand, the Stoltman brand, and put Tom and myself on a pedestal and it's helping to raise the sport of strongman to the height it's ever been. It's it's incredible where we are, and that's that's amazing. I'm very proud of that, um, and I'm not apologetic for that. You know, so there's nothing, absolutely nothing, corrupt about that. We're helping each other, we're helping Giants Live grow, and so on and so forth. So some of the people on the internet, I've read some of the comments, um, are saying congratulations for speaking up, um, and it's not me speaking up at all. Um, the things I said were recorded wrongly. Um, and it was a private conversation. Um, it was basically because I didn't want to do World's Ultimate Strongman. You know, looking back at the, I mean, I can't even remember what I said, but looking back and listening to the, the audio footage, I wish I didn't say those things, but they were said in private. They were said, said between me and two other people that I once classed as quite close friends. Um, and that's really, that's that's the bottom line. You know, I've I've had a conversation with two friends that have wrongly recorded that conversation. I've said things in private to them. They've then recorded it and come out and post it on the internet. A little section of it. So, Mark Boyd, I thank you for that. You've really tr shown your true colours. Um, I will have nothing else to, to say on the matter. 
I have World's Strongest Man to win. You know, that is my main priority. That is my only priority this week. So thank you guys for all the support. As always, apologies that this has to come out like this. I know it's not the best. I know it's not the best news. Hope you guys are all doing good. As always, please stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling.